All I hear is a man that's never gotten his dick wet. Oh, you need to stop talking. He likes to kill people. What's up? It's Camille. Just being me. What does that mean? Well, it means I do what I normally do. I watch what I normally watch and I record it. Why? Because I needed a fucking hobby. And tonight we're watching episode three of Interview with the Vampire. So where we left off last time, we basically got to see the aftermath of Louis changing into a vampire and adjusting to his new life. Well, he's dead, but you know what I mean. One big key thing is that we saw him grow distant from his family. I know that family is going to be a really big deal to him in the future. Like I said, I, I watched the movie, but like it was back in the 90s. I was young. All I really remember from it is that um, it was like the first sexy vampire movie I had ever seen. And I had vowed that I would definitely let Brad Pitt bite the shit out of me if I ever saw him in real life. <laughs> Well, I mean, at the time, he was like literally the sexiest man alive. I definitely would have spent eternity with him at that time. So, so many people have left comments about the books and, and some things that are a little different. Um, I probably should read it one day. Maybe I will. But um, everything that I'm reading really makes me appreciate the changes that they made having Louis be a gay black man. Um, a great story, in my opinion, could and should be told from different perspectives. It's still going to remain a great story. And people have different lives, different experiences, especially a black gay man in 1910. So I think it's so important to tell a story from a different perspective. And I really appreciate the fact that they're going there. So speaking of comments, y'all, I am blown the fuck away. I started this channel just a couple of weeks ago, like consistently started it. Um, with 98 subscribers in like two days ago at Monday I hit 200 and I looked today and I was like like 298 almost 300 I haven't looked in a while but I can't believe more than five people are watching my damn videos and people are actually taking the time to like do this and subscribe and like and comment and all that other stuff I appreciate it so much and I had a little celebration it's not a big deal but I left a little Thing at the end of the video for everybody that took a second to you know just support me and show me some love leave me a comment all that good stuff like I said I really do appreciate it speaking of weed because I do talk about it I'm a bud tender like I, I sell weed for a living and so one of the reasons that I do this channel is because when I get a new product or a new strain I like to see how it's going to affect me because things affect people differently and there's no better way of seeing how it affected me by watching myself back so I get to see if it made me giggly or chatty or quiet if I was just thinking about food the whole time so there's a bigger purpose for this whole weed thing but just a quick little explanation anyway speaking of that I didn't eat a cookie today I didn't eat any gummies or anything so I need to go take a quick pit stop before we get into this video I will be right back but let's get into the video it is my very nature that of the devil I haven't seen any of the previews by the way so I have no idea what's gonna happen Germany? No, not food. Germany. <laughs> Same thing about how they, do you ever think that we, that's to say our kind, were put on Earth for a larger purpose? Your purpose is to enjoy yourself. That can't be all there is. We can eat animals and be okay. Rats, cats, cattle. Is okay what you desire, Louis? Define your terms. The worst of it. And how would we go about determining that? Read their minds. Hunting is pure instinct. The ones you admire thoughtful man who designed this park he loved so much that guy that couldn't Should sing right spare them the randomness of our killing they came from apes we came from them <laughs> we should be better than they are try something for me want to share how long do we wait before his bloody deeds reveal themselves as long as it takes you haven't thought this through louis you said you would try him he steals from unfortunates and does that meet your satisfaction He didn't even wait. <laughs> well, go on. Let's go. Your criminal biscuits. See how it tastes. Eat. If you can't tell by now, I'm squeamish when it comes to blood. <laughs> He's on a diet, maybe keto, but like, pet. you're angry. Your night had nothing to do with ridding the world of criminals. You're ashamed of what we are. Maybe I'm just pondering what I am. You're a vampire. 
you not use the word in my place of business? Place of business. A cover. This illusion is fronting a dozen businesses up and down Claiborne. <laughs> Louis de Pontelac, the dark prince of Iberville. The honeymoon seems to be over. I don't want to kill people anymore. There it is. A fish that doesn't swim. You're going to struggle. Have you ever tried? The pianist. You have played the same melody the very same way for two weeks now. People didn't come here to hear you jabber, Mr. Lioncourt. <laughs> well, they didn't come here to hear you play either. Otherwise, you'd be in a concert hall and there'd be fewer prostitutes. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> Be my guest. For our boys being shipped off to Europe. Oh, wow. No, you're enemy. <laughs> oh, oh, no. No. <laughs> All I hear is a man that's never gotten his dick wet. Oh, you need to stop Actually, talking. He likes to kill people. He admitted later there was nothing wrong with Jelly Roll's play. Only something he overheard in an alleyway. Jelly was gonna leave me high and dry in a few days. Whoa, 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 whoa. hold on there. You're saying Lestat wrote the Wolverine Blues? This? Yes, that's it. Uh-huh. Louis, I wonder why it's the called that. rewrite that's giving me pause here. I mean, 1973, 2022, San Francisco, Dubai. I Allow myself to feel How many damn times have they been anymore. together? I was so confused. Much less a man. Lestat had surrounded me. The version we speak of now is the more nuanced portrait. Mm. Fifty years later, you talk like he was your soulmate. I am in my Buick, staring in the rearview mirror at my daughter in the car seat. My editor reminds me it's seven years before car seats are mandatory. This is the Odyssey of recollection. Funny how memory works. What was that? The tapes are an admitted performance. Half a century later. Allow me my odyssey. He said, let me tell my story the way I want to tell it right now, okay? Go and do that for. Oh, oh, he burnt the shit. <laughs> Just making sure. 1917 doesn't sound like it was such a bad year. The start filled in for Jelly the next night and invited their admirers back to the Rue Royale. So the last one to leave never left. He would do his killing away from me now. Out of respect, he said, for the choice I had made. I appreciate that. Ooh. Oh, it's still to moving my around a little. Ooh. I barely had the energy to hold up a book. My libido was not what it had been. I feel like I've seen her in something before. <laughs> what do the employees at the Azalea say about Louis and Lestat? I'll answer with a question. Are there two beds upstairs or one? I like all sorts. I like burnished complexions. Burnished complexions? I like <laughs> men called daddy. <laughs> I was beginning to wonder about your manners. I'm hungry. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get something to eat. Is the animal market still open? So you didn't kill her? No. She has talents. He used some oh, morals. No, no. <laughs> oh. Don't laugh. No. I can smell her on you. From time to time, I like a little variety. You're not doing it for I me saw. right now, Louis. That's kind of what he's telling you. We're communicating so much better now. So I can fuck whoever I want. Of course. This probably isn't going to turn out well. Of course. Yee, I don't believe this at all. <laughs> the Western Front started receiving American troops. New Orleans was the last stop before France for many young men. Ordinance 4118. A hastily composed attempt by the city to segregate Storyville. A colored or black race move their business across Canal Street. This was the heart of my business. The very men who signed the ordinance in the law were some of my best clients. It was an absurdity. 
Lloyd said if they were owners, we could file a writ saying 4118 was a... Uh... Deprived us the use of our property without due process of law, denying us equal protection under the Constitution of these United States. <laughs> That's what she said, though. It's pure capitalism, Mr. Fenwick. Thank you, Tom. That's a woman count as coin. No offense, Miss Williams. Been called a cunny, a cow, and a bitch that ate a thousand dicks. You want to apologize for calling me a woman? <laughs> Ooh, leave your wife. I'll make you a happy man, Mr. Anderson. We're writing another ordinance. You know that, don't you? Council's not your problem, Louis. Woodrow Wilson. Well, I'm doing my part to see them Jimmy hats get used. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 400 men over at charity getting treatment for the clap. I got pristine pussies walking my floor. Now I'm offended. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Feel like a boot on my neck. Maybe that reference means so much more now. Holy Lord. Jonah? The we the point do like. I like this Jonah suit. Where you been, Jonah? Philadelphia for a spell. Hotel work. And a gunpowder mill in Delaware. Fellow working next to me blew off three fingers. I saw enough. Done all right. Done all right. You own all this. Sign me up for done all right. You ever think about those old days? When we were a kid? So I maybe... That was one of the people that he said he dabbled with when he was a kid. Nothing much changed here, I see. Crickets and Katie did. In Asia Day since I seen you last. That's the moonlight line, is all. Just say thank you. you worried about <laughs> going over there? And most of why I signed up is I kept hearing something about something they call European sensibilities. <laughs> they care less what you look like or who you looking at. I guarantee it, somebody, Jeez. they messed around when a they were lot. little. It's not perfect, mm -hmm. but we kind of have this. Agreement. One of those you can drive out to the bayou kind of agreements. I knew it. I felt like the stats gonna pop up out of nowhere. I changed my mind. No, you can't do this. And kill him. Is he not able to enjoy himself? He's too hungry. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Why are you kill why are you why are you by yourself? Does it help? I guess it helps. Okay. Alright. If you say so. Hello. How was your night? Fine. Yours? You can't look at him. You found me, you know. An old love. We had a few early fumbles. He was 16. I was older. We both knew even then we were a little different. I was Antoinette. Tedious. Did you say tedious or hideous? The, night the mud on his boots could have come from anywhere. Was it raining that night? Did it rain? Is he kind of helping him to write the story? Filling in where he's messing up? I don't remember now. The Odyssey of Recollection. Here comes the girls! Why are they screaming? Six months and you just show up. You're not welcome in this home. Why I don't not? own this home. I'm the executor in charge, so welcome don't matter. What's going on out here? I got you girls some paper dolls. Go back inside, son. Son? I'm your son. I didn't come here to see you. No. Came here They're to see afraid you. Get the girl. Why you didn't get in the Ooh. Shit. Go to your room. There he is. Grace. Get out. Oh, man. They ain't gonna let them play with them toys. This is his house now? Is that throwing a party? Yes, he is. Electricity at the Azalea. What? Miss Bricktop wanted you to have this. Temporary closure notice. Get him out of here. Well, now that I know you have a type, I thought you'd be pleased. Let's start. What's gonna happen? Like zombies. Please don't do some crazy shit and all off yourself. Okay. You let everybody live. Thank you. Ooh. I guess that's really hard for him. It takes a lot of power. What can I say? I'm a lot. I'm not perfect. <laughs> At least he can I'm admit it. Familiar. I can be yes. a lot too. You jealous? Yes. I don't like sharing. I heard your heart standing! You watched the whole thing like some creep. This is not a life. That's because you took my life. I got nothing. I lost everything. About to lose the last fucking thing I care about. 
How am I supposed to get bodies in the door without hookers who to cards? Hey, you were given a courtesy and you ignored it. Fred O'Shea served sandwiches at his bar that makes him a supper club. In time, Mr. O'Shea. A supper club, seriously? It does appear businesses run by white gentlemen are thriving. <laughs> who do you suggest gonna sell me a property in the quarter? Make Mr. Leon a call here, the public face of your operation. This is Louis' hubby, not mine. Well, maybe old Tom here had it right. Maybe in the end, Louis, you Dumb pimple got robbed blind years ago. I don't think he's gonna be alive for very much longer. I'll be happy to buy the property back from you. Say, 15 cents on the dollar. <laughs> you didn't lost your ever loving mind. It's my very nature, that of the devil. I think that's what I would be obsessed with, is people. like the origin of our species. Where did we come from? Gross. I'm gonna speak for the girls and say as minority owners, that's a stupid fucking business plan. This state I was in, <laughs> I, you put up a sign like that, you're inviting chaos. And in neglect, my thirst grew hotter. Temples throbbed, and finally, I could not stand it any longer. He's just stubborn as fuck. And I was through struggling. Service members nearby, and it's for their concern. Rats, cats, mm -mm -mm. dogs would no longer suffice. And he looks juicy, don't he? Hope you had a good last dinner, sir. Woo! <laughs> <Ooh, laughs> scared me. <laughs> You're here to threaten me, I suppose. You think I have a vendetta against you? Sure. Yeah, you kind of do. But that's your problem, Louis. You're arrogant. You haven't accepted your place in this world. And the weird goings on in your sodomite townhouse won't change the fact that you're a tiny man flying too close to the sun. That's what you think. <laughs> Go ahead and shoot him. Let's see what happens. Does he even wife? pretend? It is fortunate. Yeah, he doesn't pretend. Fuck you. <laughs> I'll let you reload. That little baby gun. Oh, shit. Oh, his, oh, his you said I'm oh, oh, arrogant. Oh. Ow, ow, ow. Go ahead and eat. He's not dead yet. Go, 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 go. I'm a vampire. Eat. You didn't have to do all that, though. Damn, Louie. I did it for my city, my people. Destroy our businesses and buy the land for cheap. We know what they're doing. Garish display of his body like some public art piece was for your people. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think that you, you nah. You did what you did because it gave you pleasure. The yeah, I liked it, Louis. And that's why you and me ain't ever gonna work. That's why you're always gonna be alone. Those are tough night. words. Can I help you? Please let me help you. Go help. Just run. Unaware that it was I who had brought this retribution. It was I who should pay for this sin. One of I could not save the aunt on the wrong side of the wall, but I could save her. Oh, the My Claudia. My redemption. Anyway, that was a really good episode. Let's talk about it. So we're three episodes into a brand new series and I'm feeling pretty good about it. You know, sometimes a premiere can be really good and then you get to the third episode and you're like, this sucks. But I'm feeling really good about this. Now, this episode we saw Louis struggle with the morality of killing people and he tries to justify it by only wanting to kill bad people or trying to survive just off of animals. Um, we also saw that the council was a bunch of racist haters who thought that Louis got too big for his britches and they kept coming up with new ordinances to basically fuck him and his businesses over. Now, I understand his anger about what they were doing to him. However, as Lestat keeps pointing out, Louis needs to accept what he is now, which is the opposite of human. Lestat is loaded. They don't need the money. And he needs to realize that because he's a vampire now, all of his businesses, all the people that he know, everything is going to grow old and like close down and die and all that other stuff. And he needs to kind of accept that that's going to be part of his life now. Now, I'm not saying he needs to go full of stat and like kill everything moving, 
but he does need to accept his new reality. They spent even more time this episode showing the growing distance between him and his family. He has tried to stay in touch, but his nieces are scared of him. His mom thinks that he's the damn devil. And after that door thing, I don't think he's going to get invited back anytime soon. I did see the previews for the next episode, and I'm really excited for what's to come. Um, in the original movie, I believe it was Kirsten Dunst's first role ever. But she became one of my favorite characters. And one of the reasons why I watched this movie over and over again is because um, we were close in age and I wanted to live her life. That's she's the reason I wanted Brad Pitt to bite me. <laughs> so anyway, if you've never seen the original movie, I would just say this. Be very excited for what this new character is about to bring to this show. If you made it this far, there had to be something that you liked about the video. So consider rolling over that like button and hitting that shit for me. And like I said at the beginning of the video, for all the people that took the time to just click and, you know, subscribe or like or comment or whatever, I just wanted to leave a little special thank you to all of you. So this next part is for you and I will see you next time.